All right, it's time for our SME discussion. We have Michael Abisuga, an entrepreneur with a focus on using technology or using the synergy of information technology and business strategies to provide world-class result-oriented solutions. He's a graduate of architecture, co-founded Minimi and Zugok interior design and furniture making business. It is great to have you. You are welcome. Yeah, thank That's you. That's quite an interesting name, Minimi and Zugok. Yeah. It, 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 doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't roll off the tongue so easy. Mm. Uh, how, why the name or how, how, did you, how did you get that name together? Yeah, the, you have to understand the foundation of our business. Mm. Minimi is, is targeting kids. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Zuka, Zugak is uh, like the, my surname and architecture. So that What's one is your surname? Abisuga. Okay. Okay. Shuga. Okay. Your surname. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and architecture. Oh, okay. If yeah. you look at it that way, it's not easy. But when you put it all together, mm -hmm. kind of a rule of the tongue quite well. But um, you've you've been in operation for about eight years now. Yeah. Uh, after studying architecture, I mean, it's something. It's 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 one thing you want a normal person wants to go and work for a firm or something somewhere. But you, mm. put in your entrepreneurial skills into work how where how do you grow your entrepreneurial skills when did you know that yeah, you would to want to go into uh, entrepreneurship yeah it all started when i was in school uh it wasn't easy getting funds to to bank cool architecture so mm. i have to have other skills to make ends meet so i was learning it so when i was in school i was designing websites for okay. departments and faculties already so i was already making money and mm. i have a bit of experience with uh, entrepreneurship. Mm. So when I graduated, uh, it was just an easy switch to be able to run my own business mm. and do stuff. Yeah. And then you got into interior design. Where, you know, how, how, how did that, how did that happen? Yeah. Uh, when I left school, I was actually into tech more, more. I was doing, we have a digital marketing firm. So uh, at, at a point, everything was getting digital. I said, we need a real life product, a real life uh, company that, or I need a real life company that it's physical, something you can see, not something virtual. So, and it's architecture I studied, so it was easy to just to just switch to mm. to interior design because so that's where I have the background and the training to operate. Now, uh, uh, just to make something clear, what what years were you in school? When was this? Uh, 2022. Okay. Uh, 2002. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering. <laughs> 2002. Uh, 2002. <laughs> 2002. <laughs> you know, it's not like how it, yeah. how it is in this mm. day. I mean, I mean, then um, I, 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 I was in school earlier than then. Yeah. Uh, we didn't have so much of Google now and AI mm. as it were now to yeah, check up and help us do a lot of things. So you being uh, uh, getting into tech as at that particular point in time, you yeah. are you are amongst the front runners and all of that. Yeah. And now you've kind of found a way to incorporate into your business so much so that you now have another offshoot. Tell us about that. Yeah, so uh, tech is very interesting. Yeah, It keeps evolving. evolving. Yeah, it keeps that, evolving. Yeah. And so and you have to catch up with the pace because things are moving. Before, we used to have used for, uh, floppy, di floppy disk. Floppy disk, which are what? Yeah. How many we KB? To, uh, we go to <laughs> Cyber Cafe to, oh, to, to send emails. Yahoo Messenger, there's nothing like all this WhatsApp and stuff, TikTok. You have to go to Yahoo Messenger and start saying, ESL, where are you? Mm. To, meet, to meet new people. So things, was, things, things keep evolving, and then uh, technology progresses. So the way things are being done, uh, for each industry. You have to understand the progress in your industry. And the progress in our in industry is, is mostly virtual reality. So uh, where, where that comes in is for interior design, you need to be able to virtual, visualize what you are trying to do for a space. Most times, customers or people, they will order something, and when they bring it to their space, it doesn't fit. So. Uh, tech has already made it in a way that you can see and visualize what you are trying to buy in your space before you make the order. The color, how it will fit into the space, and the functionality. So you can use your mobile phone and then point it at, your, at the space, and then you place the object there or the piece that you are, you are, trying, to, you are trying to visualize, and you see whether it's something that is, is good. You can change the color, you can put something else, you can put a light that is different from what what is supposed to what is what is there before so when it's okay then you can make your order mm. so virtual reality is like a like the ai mm. of of uh interior design, interior design. And furniture. So, wonderful yeah so people know yeah virtual reality is not that common mm. so it's like the AI of, so it's something that is evolving That's it's an evolving, evolving technology and innovation that a lot of businesses in our sector that wants to go need, need to embrace 
uh, gone are the days when you have to go to a showroom to get what you know you can your showroom can exactly. come to your space exactly that's yeah, right you phone. know i even yeah. i was even talking about it and even even when it comes to um uh, landlords and agents and mm -hmm. house searching for houses yeah yeah that. sure it's like well at the point where i don't have to start checking to everywhere mm -hmm. although people can be very very <laughs> dubious with that one but yeah. i like what i like what you think you don't have to get to a showroom yeah. your showroom can be virtual you can mm -hmm. make you can decide what you want and all that and i've seen your pieces there they're quite wonderful you have quite a lot of mm -hmm. multi-functional pieces yeah you know and i think and that's where the world is going to I mean, pieces that it's a bed and a chair at the same time. At mm -hmm. the same time, it could be a workspace and all of yeah, that. Sure. How important is it, that multifunctionality of uh, how, how important is it for you to have such designs? It depends on the users, actually, and okay. the function they want to put it in. Some spaces, uh, maybe like, a, like a, a kid space, you might have a, a room where you want, uh, it's not too big, but you want your child to be able to have guests over. Mm. So you can have a, a bed that has another bed hidden underneath it. So mm. during the day, you can stock it in. That's a trundle bed. Uh, mm. So it depends on the space and the user. On the space, like A lot of people in Nigeria, the multifunctionality of, of, of pieces are not, is not really common here because people that can afford stuff don't usually want to manage. They want to show for over day, I saw yeah. some rooms in the UK, especially Yeah, because the they want UK. to manage the spaces. Ah. They want this to, place is somewhat easy. <laughs> they'll turn it to an office. I, I am to, telling you. They'll turn it in the, in the afternoon when you come. I've seen some ridiculous spaces. In the night, it's something else entirely. So, exactly. And the, the, uh, the production, the manufacturing that allows you to be able to, to, to build stuff that are very multifunctional. Wonderful. Because, yeah. Wonderful. In your line of business, how, uh, what kind of challenges have you been able, have you encountered and how have you been able to surmount such challenges? Uh, we've encountered quite a number of challenges uh, peculiar to to the country, to yeah. the industry, to Ex people. To people. Mm. Yeah, I don't know the, the <laughs> time cannot permit, but yeah, let's mostly uh, logistics mm. Mm, because our stuff is very, it's not, it's not software that you just do. Yeah, exactly. You have to move stuff. You have to move stuff. The big, big stuffs from space to space, from the, from the market to, to, to the workshop produce and then move it to the customer. To the customer a lot of consumer. issues along the way. Along but, the way. And then for the customer to be able to bear the cost. Like we man, when we manufacture, sometimes we manufacture our uh, products in Lagos. Somebody from Kaduna will want it and mm. they'll be like, ah, oh, transportation. Transportation. They'll be like, wow, That's I, li I like you guys, but. <laughs> it's even, <laughs> it'd it'd probably be more than <laughs> the, the cost of the product. The product. Yeah. So that's a big challenge for mm. us. And then uh, raw materials, like I said, like you said, multifunctional stuff that the people produce abroad. Some of the things that we need to get those things done here, they are not available. They are not available to, there are some, there are some features, some things you need to add to your, to your product for you to be able to get some things out. So you have to make use of what the people that, man, that import brings to the, hmm. to the country, except you have a very good project where you can make your own custom order from abroad and bring it and produce what you want to produce. Mm. So we have a limitation in terms of the tools that is available and what uh, the materials to get them done. Uh, we also have a, 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 a challenge with workmen mm. because mm. it's a very- Artisans yes, and all of that. that's a very major problem. That's why a lot of people even fall into problem that they want to go and contact the artisans uh, directly, directly instead of them too to give it to people that are used to you working with them. Mm. So they want to save cost and cut corners and try and get things themselves. You, they ask for the price of, yeah, I can, I can get security on the street. Cheaper now, yes, now. But those, those guys, it's not that they are, they are wonderful guys, they are very good, but they need a lot of guidance. They are, they are more than wonderful. <laughs> they need a yeah? lot of guidance to, now today, to, mm. to, to get your output out. In fact, like yeah. you said, it's the majority. When people mm. have to do with furniture and everything in their house, that is the number one challenge people. Dealing with artisans, maybe mm. you might have paid, oh, do I get my... My order in due time. Yes. Does it come with it? It's it's just it, back it, and forth. Very big that. That's when you start so having, really? having yeah, what I ordered versus what I got mm. because of stuff exactly. Like that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Just your final word. What would you give to somebody with with your knowledge of entrepreneurship? What's that one thing you would tell to somebody who wants to start up a business here in Nigeria? That thing that they should always carry with them, or they should they, they, that they can always keep at the back of their mind. There's a lot, but one thing is for you to to start. Hmm. Yeah, just I like that. Just start. Yeah, start. Just start. Just do it. Just start with the little you have. All right. Don't put it at the background. If it's just even talking to somebody about it, start. If it's just you making a page, an Instagram page. We started with just an Instagram page. We don't with nothing. We have the workshop. Even you're just having an Instagram page with your name and one posting one or two products, start. 
Hmm. Titi, uh, Danny, I hope you're able to hear that just start. Is, is the kitchen ready? Yes. Are we set? Okay. Great. Michael, we've got something for you. Mm -hmm. We just want you to start with... Are, are you fasting? <laughs> no, I'm not fasting. Do you have fasting allergies or something? Let me no, tell you. No, 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 no. Are you, are you sure? <laughs> okay. Let's head out to the kitchen. Not, we have something for you.